Hey guys, it's Echo Freak back with another video, and we're gonna talk about the top five Stevie King movies that I like. And when I'm done with this video, I'm I'm gonna make the top five Stevie King movies I hate. Now, um, I didn't know Stevie King until my dad showed me it because my dad was a big fan of Stevie King. He has like almost the books and almost the movies. So when I was a kid, like six, seven, um, he showed me like uh, Pet Cemetery, Maximum Overdrive, like all those old movies. And I'm only gonna put one of, of the new movies because I like the old movies. All right. So we're gonna start off with number five, Stand by Me. Now I didn't have really much memories of this, but but I kind of remember some of the parts. And, and whenever I'm walking with my dad, like, you know, to, let, let's say, one knees Walmart, I always said, train, because I still remember that freaking scene. And I always remember watching Family Guy making fun of Stand By Me. So I still have memories of this movie. Alright, number four, we're gonna go with The Shiny. Now, I like The Shiny. Um, The Shiny was a good movie. Um... I think I remember um, the guy um, kissing, you, you know the father, um, what, Jack, I think, I think that was his name, um, I, um, I only remember a few parts of it, um, I remember Jack kissing a woman and it turned out to be a ghost, but like this disgusting ghost, I forgot, but like, but like, I, but like, I, I remember watching Doctor Sleep and I think that was the, you know, the father kissing that ghosting you know like f in the tub i think i don't remember parts of it but but i still remember having fun with this movie okay number three we're gonna go with pet cemetery not the new one the old one to be honest i like the old one better than the new one the new one was kind of really it didn't surprise me is because when I was watching the second trailer, they review, you know, it was the girl who's going to get hit by the truck. And the, and the ending where the father died and became one of the dead ones or whatever it's called. And where the boy was stuck in the car. I really don't like it, but like, I but I like how they killed the girl. is because, you know, like, um they had, you know, more time. So, you know, of course, they're going to get depressed. It's still their kid, but like... You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, um, you know, like, you're spending, like, um, the daughter was, like, 8, 10, I think. They had, like, 8 to 10 years with her, right? So, you know, they had more experience with her. So, that's why I kind of like how they killed her off. But I didn't like how they showed that she died in the trailer. Because it ruined it. Alright, number 2. Now, I love this movie. Not the TV show. You can, you can already guess what it is. The Mist. I love The Mist. And when that stupid church girl, um, the woman or whatever, like, you know, like, who, who kept saying God did this, um, he's mad at us, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I'm glad the fucking worker shot that bitch. She was so fucking annoying. She's like, kill that boy. Kill that boy. Like, she was just so fucking annoying. I'm glad that worker just shot that bitch in the head. But I didn't like how he got killed off. Was it by that giant mantis or grasshopper? I I I I think it is, but um, but um, but the other, but the other part I like was um, what was the, I I think it was a guy's neighbor or a other guy. I don't remember, but like when they went to the other store and the guy's face started bubbling, um, I think those spiders are called gray widows. It, in the book, in the movie, it's called the Great Widows. I think I like that part, and, and and the part where they shot acid in the guy's leg, you know, like web, and it started burning. I love that part. It was the my second favorite movie. I love The Mist. All right, number one, and you guys can already guess what it is. It chapter one. Now, now the now the old it. I like Tim Curry, all right. He's funny, but the part, but when he tries to act scary, it because you know, like back then, it used to be scary, right? But right now, it's it's really not that scary. But I'm still gonna give it a like, all right. 
now we're gonna go with wait wait Oops, sorry. okay um okay now we're gonna talk about it chapter one now my favorite part of the movie is dude I love the movie all right it's the part when Richie said Bill you brought me into this crackhead's house you punched me and wait what was the other part I don't remember the oh yeah um, I think he said you you ruined my summer vacation, and now I have to fucking kill this con. Welcome to the losers club, asshole. I love the part where they were beating the fuck out of the like seriously. I love the part where they beat the fuck out of it because of course, of course they're not scared of it you know anymore, right? Pennywise like get the fuck out of here, okay? I I just like the part, and and, and the other part is where. <laughs> Is where Beth, um, what's that her name, Bethany, where she jumped into the fucking lake and they're like, holy fuck, or like, holy shit. Like, seriously, I I would say the same thing because fuck that. I will not risk my life by, you know, going to that cliff and jumping into that water. Fuck that. And I enjoyed the movie, alright? It Chapter 1 was the best. And I know, and I know my dad's watching this, and he's gonna love this video, but I don't think he's gonna like, you know, what Stevie King movies I hate. Like, seriously, um, he, he's a big fan of Elvis, Stevie King, you know, like, he has the movies and the books and all that, so that's, so that's how I got into, you know, Stevie King is because of him. Alright, anyway, thank you, um, thank you, daddy, for, um, you know, getting me into Stevie King. I love the movies, the books, thank you. And guys, I see you in the top 10 5 Stevie King movies I hate. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Peace.